My name is Antoine Lee, and this is The Solar Shrine. The Solar Shrine is an Afrofuturistic art installation project for Burning Man based upon ancient Egyptian and Nubian cosmology and their myths and spiritual beliefs. Afrofuturism is, is really important as it explores the intersections between arts, history, mythology, science fiction, and politics. It explores how people of African descent in the U.S. and the African diaspora project themselves into the future. I would say as an architect, one of my things that I wanted to do was look at art and architecture from the past, but build it and, and have it shaped and modeled in a more contemporary form using contemporary materials, slick lines, clean lines. So in some respects, this art installation comes out of ancient Egypt, it comes out of Nubia, but can also exist on a planet somewhere else. It's kind of a combination of a destination point. It's also got kind of a spirituality to it. It's got historical ramifications. I mean, it brings together a lot of levels, but also something that, uh, you know, can bring a lot of people together. So that's a pretty important aspect of this to me. This place is a refuge in the desert, a place of meditation, a place of joy, a place to come and have a spiritual connection to the ancestors, make new friends, a place to have fun. It's just this monumental thing that you come upon and, and that helps make it a, a, a sort of temple. Uh, and I think it's kind of a temple to this up. Walk through the gateway, walk up to the shrine itself, view the solar bark. The solar bark has the disk of Ra, Ra was the giver of life on Earth and created the universe. And there's also a stairwell that goes up to the second level on top of the shrine. And that area is made for people to experience music, meditation, yoga, anything that they can think of a burning in. Did I mention the gigantic poofers? There's going to be some gigantic poofers. Fire, I like that. The gateway structure is 35 feet high. And on top of the gateway, there will be another 30 to 40 feet of flame that will come from Kufus. On the shrine itself, there will be four continuously lit torches. I actually love the fact that this not only draws upon a deep human history, but that it references our place in the universe through its orientation with the sun and the planets. The art installation is oriented six degrees due north east, so that when the sun rises in the east, it will illuminate the disc on top of the gateway and also the solar bark in the shrine. We'll build it in modular pieces in Chicago, ship it out to Nevada and direct it. We've locked down a space to build the art installation. We've also received material donations. Money is a really simple way for you to make something epic happen and to, to touch people's lives, uh, whether you're going or not. You should absolutely donate to something like this if you like art and you like big projects, this is a, the perfect opportunity to directly donate to something that's going to be a memory that yourself or others will carry for a lifetime. It's a life changer. So. Become part of the team, donate to this project, and spread the word.